Hey y'all, welcome back to It's Shades World. Yes, it, excuse my room, it might look a little dark. That's because I closed the blinds and I turned on the light so that the ring light can reflect on me. But um, I'm here with the video that everybody been waiting for, which is the lock journey. Ooh! First, before I get into everything, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you share this with a friend, with a friend, with a friend. Make sure you follow me on all my social medias. On Facebook at Marshea Matthews. At Instagram at Marshea Matthews. At TikTok at Shea2521. S-H-A-Y-A 2521. Okay. So, y'all still got my hair wrapped up. I got my hair wrapped up. First, before I show y'all my... You know, y'all seen my locks in my last video. Thank y'all for watching my last video. Let's run it up. But before I take this up, let's talk about why I started my locks. So, I had a habit of, like, cutting my hair. I don't know why I would cut my hair. Like, literally, one day I woke up like, I'm cutting my hair. Was in my room, cut my hair. And I had to go to a barbershop. Cut all my hair off. Like, I'll show a picture of that. Okay? Right here. Yes, cut all my hair off. Then I let it grow. Then I end up cutting my hair again. Had my aunt cut it and, you know, use the sponge. Rock that for a while. My hair started growing back. I just never knew, like, how to take care of my hair. At one point, I was able to take care of my natural hair. Probably, like, in 2014, when I graduated high school, I was, like, taking care of my hair, like, good taking care of my hair. Like, my curl pattern was there. I was washing it, co-washing it, all that kind of stuff. Keeping my hair, keeping up with my hair. But at one point, I stopped keeping my hair, keeping up with my hair. I think it was because I came to a point where it was just like, you know, some people go through that phase where it's like, am I pretty? Mm, do my hair define me? Do da, 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 da. Like, I just had so many things that I was, like, battling with within myself. Um, All the way around, the whole 360 of battling with a lot of things, trying to figure out if work is stressing me out is this stressing me out oh i don't like my hair do i want to pay pay this money to get my hair done and i can save the money to try to get my license back or stuff like that like it was just so much to the point where i felt like i needed to cut my hair every chance that i got literally so i was like i want to cut my hair and my aunt and my mom and i was like no don't cut your hair no more Marcia. do not cut your hair again you better not cut your hair it's growing back don't cut your hair. And I'm like, nothing is growing my hair back. Like, my edges. Like, I remember one time I had box braids. And, like, one of my baby cousins accidentally, like, while we were asleep, you know, made one come out. So, my my edges don't grow how I want them to grow. So, I think that discourages me. And I just be like, just cut it all off to where everything is the same same length. Just cut it off. Just take it all off. But they was like, no, you should get some locks. Everybody kept saying it. Like, my cousins kept saying, like, you'll be cute with some locks. Like, let them grow out, then color them. And, you know, you can wear them any kind of way. The ugly stage, you're going to have it. But you could also put on a wig and this and that. And I'm like, mm, I don't know. But September 1st, I was like, let me make an appointment with my aunt. She started my locks. I'll post a video, a picture of that right here. And then... Y'all, I'm still trying to edit. So, if they don't be where I'm saying they are, they're going to be somewhere in the video. They might be at the end of the video. Or they might be... I'm, I'm trying my best to learn how to edit. So, don't charge it to my heart. And I'm charging it to my head and my heart. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but don't charge it to me. I'm still learning. Still learning, okay? Still learning, babes. But, yeah. Um, Went to her, got my hair locked up. And I really feel like with me and my hair locked up, it gave me my beauty back. Like, it gave me the confidence. You know, as some people say, like, when you get your locks, it's like, you got a story to tell. Like, why did you get them? Some people because somebody died or somebody who they love had locks and they feel like they'll be reconnected with them that way. No. Mine was because I felt like I was to a point where I knew I was, I know I'm pretty. I know I'm beautiful. You know what I mean? But I have low self-esteem when it comes to, like, my gap right here. Hate it. My stomach hated um, just little things that's like really dumb that I hated. But I feel like with my locks, it made me feel like, oh, so you fine. Okay, you is beautiful. Okay, well, I'm small, short, however long they are. But the more and more that I, I've, I've let them grow, like it's been eight months now. And when I tell you I'm like so in love with them, I'll be like, when am I supposed to get my hair locked up? I mean, what am I supposed to get a retwist? 
I just got a retwist and I asked my aunt last night, like, can I get one? She's like, girl. But I'm really excited because now my hair is growing. I'm not putting too much tension on my hair. Yes, I do still wear, like, my wigs and stuff like that. Like, if we have to sing and I feel like this is one of them upscale events or, like, for the photo shoot, I had orange hair. Like, it was just little stuff that I feel like I need to wear, like, a wig or something for. But now I'm getting kind of confident in it to where I want to wear my hair, like, every day. I just had it put up in a style. I think I have a picture of that. Um, it was put up in a style, but I... My hair was hurting so bad I had to take it out. Like, it was hurting so bad. Um, yeah, I love my locks. So now I'm going to show y'all them now. They might look a little crazy because I fell asleep with this thing on. <laughs> if y'all want me to do some TikToks, let me know because my uh, one of my friends who has a group also, um just put a video up of me on tiktok and it got like 800 or something views already but y'all as y'all can see i haven't did nothing to my hair but this is them um this is this side they're growing the back is, is growing um the middle is growing as y'all can see uh but my i don't know why but these sides are like growing like mega mega fat heck up i was about to cuss really fast so yeah this is my journey i love them they are easy to manage like i just put some of this oil on my scalp because i have really bad scalp i'm a dry scalp put some of that oil on my scalp my aunt keeps some you know where they need to be if you in the cincinnati area hit up india Tene black on facebook she'll get you together that's all i'm saying she'll get you together Okay, because these is growing hands, baby. My hair, when I when I was just letting it be, it wasn't growing like this. But every time I go back, it's like it keep growing and growing. She recently added these because, like I said, it was it was in like a style. But yeah, my lock journey really just gave me confidence. I'm more, I love I love myself. I love my locks. Like I feel like I can go anywhere with my hair like this. My boyfriend, I love that my boyfriend did not make me feel weird. When I was in my like, ugly stage, because we started talking when I, I want to say a month or two after I started him. So, like, his first time ever seeing him, he like, oh, them going to be cute. You know, his sister, everybody, he didn't make me feel like, oh, mm. you know what I mean? He he don't make me feel that way. And that's one thing I really love. So, shout out to you, bae. Shout out to you. But I just love him for myself, honestly. Like, I can't wait till they just grow longer and longer and longer. My hair is growing more. Um, if y'all know any, like, techniques for the edges, please let me know. So, they growing. Now, they used to be worse than this. They really did. But they're growing. And I'm appreciating the growth. But, yeah. If you know something, let me know. Holla at your girl. But, yeah, that's just my life journey, y'all. Keep praying for me. Pray that I don't want to cut my hair off. Pray that I keep being consistent because... Literally today, I've been just chilling, and I wasn't going to do this video, but I literally had to cuss myself out, like, with real cuss words. Church people, close your ears. I'm not going to say what I said, but I had to cuss myself out to, like, put on some clothes and really just do this. Like, I showered and was like, I'm going to do a video. I literally sat here for, like, two or three hours and have not did a video. So, I'm like, let me do a video because I'm tired of saying what I want to do and not doing it so i have to stop saying it and actually do it i believe in manifestation and i manifested a lot of things last year that came to pass this year and i'm ready for the rest of this year for everything i'm manifesting to keep happening so that next year i could be where i'm supposed to be baby and that might be you know up there um also i know i'm rambling one of my co-workers called me today and was like girl these people call me. I forgot you put me down as a reference for something to volunteer for something. Y'all, prayerfully, I get that because that would be a great opportunity. It's in the field that I'm I'm in, the field that I'm trying to walk in, the field that I, I want to be in, the field that I've graduated to be successful in. Like, y'all, just pray for me. I pray that I get that because it's a great opportunity and it's connected with some great people. And I just want to be in the number. I just want to be in the number. So, pray that I get that, y'all. So keep pushing me, keep pushing me to do great. Cause the more that y'all push me to do great, I might be on somebody's television screen one day or on somebody's radio station or on Tyler Perry's movie. 
I'm just going to speak that into existence. Put it in the atmosphere. Everybody say, put it in the atmosphere. That's all I'm saying. I got some more funny videos coming up. Some pranks, some challenges, some mukbangs, everything. I might do a video tomorrow of me cooking dinner for my boyfriend. He's worked both jobs all week. And I want to do something nice to him to show my appreciation. So, yeah. I love y'all. And remember that I always tell you best. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Tell your auntie, your auntie, your cousin, your auntie, your granny. Everybody to subscribe to my channel. I love y'all.